How's it going guys, Metal Hay here with you, and today we are looking at Stripe from Gremlins, the bobblehead from NECA Toys. Um, I picked this guy up a couple years ago at a collector shop uh, when I was going to school. Really small place, got it for about, about 20, 25 bucks. It was around that price. I can't really remember the price, but I, it was around the 20, 25 dollar area. Um, but nowadays, I believe you can pick him up for a good 15 dollars. Um, Amazon is a little bit more expensive just because of the shipping, but I'm sure you can find him for $15 at other stores too, if you keep your eyes out. Um, he stands 8 inches, and he is hand-painted and made of hemi-ceramic type resin. So he's very solid, but also very fragile. Uh, very, very, very heavy. Very tall, I mean, compared to my hand, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a big beast. 8 inches is pretty tall for a bobblehead, I find. Um, if you don't know who Stripe is, he is the um, main antagonist in the Gremlins movie, and he gets his name from his little mohawk, you can see there, on the back. Uh, he is very well detailed, especially in the facial area, you can see here. Um, it kind of gives it a lifelike um, appearance to it. Just the detail is really amazing. It has got good bobblehead action, as you can see here. But my, one of my complaints is that if you try and bobble him too hard, he has a tendency to kind of tip over. He's very front heavy since his head is so big. And if you kind of look at how he's aligned, it's kind of on an angle, right? Another complaint about this is that the base isn't flat. It's more, it's more rounded at the bottom. So it kind of has like tipping motion back and forth. But I don't mind it. It stands pretty good on my shelf. So... Nothing to really worry about. Just don't, you know, <laughs> push on his head too hard. He might fall over. As you can see, you can see some of the really good detail there in his in his face. Just how lifelike he is. You can tell the sculptor really put in a lot of effort and a lot of time to bring bring the face alive there. And his teeth, actually, they're actually pretty sharp to the touch. I like what they did with the mouth, making it black and gunky like that. You know? I like the color of his eyes, too. You can tell it's hand-painted. For sure. What I like about his mohawk here... Turn him around. You can see it's not just pure white. It does have some, uh, Like, different material in it. Different colors. Giving that, like, kind of a... Uh, a ruggedy gremlin look, I guess you can say. If you watch the movie, his mohawk isn't all pure white, but has shit, <laughs> has stuff in it. You will see at the arms here that they might look like they can articulate, but they can't. Um, I'm not sure why those are there. They don't come off at all. They're pretty, it's pretty solid, but they do not articulate. It's pretty much all full one. It's pretty much an all solid statue bobblehead. Going down to the bottom here, you can see that he does have a gingerbread man, and the base has water on it. So my guess is that this is after his transformation, because you can't you can't feed him after midnight, or else he'll transform into this giant gremlin dude. Um, so my guess is that he just transformed after eating a gingerbread after midnight, and now he's ready to cause havoc. He got a little a little pocket watch here too. Uh, I'm not too sure why that's there. But I guess it's just to add um, to the base. And then you also got the name here, Stripe. And then on the bottom, it has NECA, of course. But all in all, it is a, it is a really cool piece. Um, I really highly recommend picking it up. It's very solid, it's very detailed. It's probably one of my favorite pieces that I have in my collection. I just love how detailed the face is. It just really... This is really cool, really demonically, demonic looking. And the ears too. I mean, this thing is really massive. What makes him really, what makes him massive is the head and the ears. They, I mean, my whole, the ears almost take up my whole hand. Which is just ridiculous, but it's awesome. I always say the bigger it is, the better it is. That was the review for the NECA's Head Knocker Stripe Bobblehead. Uh, a really cool piece, you know. If you can get one for 15, 20 bucks, definitely worth a pickup. 
uh, to add to your collection if you collect this kind of stuff. Um, very detailed. One of my favorite pieces for sure. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and liking. If you want to help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> what the hell? Is that your old face, Lisa? You shouldn't be showing your dad that.